Okay, let us discuss this problem. This problem is related to something relationship between potential energy and force. If you have attended the lecture, you might have seen this kind of formula du over dx is equals to minus fx. You are getting r, you can write in du over dr that is equals to minus f. Are you getting? So let us use this formula to solve this problem. This says the potential energy of a particle in a certain field is a form of, so u is given in this form, a by r square minus b by r. So this is the way by which the potential energy is given. Where a and b are positive constant. a and b are basically positive. So a and b are positive constant. r is the distance from the center of the field. r is the distance from center of the field. In the first part of the question says, I think all of you copied this one, so first part says calculate the value of R0 corresponding to equilibrium position of the particle. So we have to calculate R0. So we have to find R0 and this corresponds to the equilibrium position of the particle. And you have to also calculate whether this equilibrium is a steady or not. This is a, a stable equilibrium or unstable equilibrium. So we have to calculate R0 for which we have equilibrium. So if you remember, at equilibrium force is equal to 0. So what is the condition for equilibrium? For equilibrium, the condition is force should be equal to 0. So let us find. Now u is given to you a by r square minus b by r. So I can find force. Force is nothing but minus del u over del r. If you do this, we will have a r square will be r q and up you will have a 2 also, so minus 2RQ, are getting, and minus B by R will be B by R square with a minus sign. If I want equilibrium position, then I have to create this equals to 0, so I will have minus 2A by RQ plus B by R square, this is equals to 0. Now let us say this happens at R is equals to R naught, so I will have 2a by r not whole q, I think you are able to see this one, 2a by r not whole q is equals to b by r not whole square. So from here we will have r not is equals to 2a by b. So this is the position of equilibrium. So if you want to find equilibrium position, r not is given by 2a by b. So for equilibrium, you see for equilibrium R0 should be equals to 2A by B. Are you getting? Now B part of the question says whether this equilibrium is a stable, unstable or neutral. So there are three kind of equilibrium. If you remember, so there is a stable equilibrium, there is a unstable equilibrium and there is a neutral equilibrium. If you remember, uh, for a stable equilibrium, that is the d2u by dx square or d2u by dr square, it should be, this is a condition of minima, so this should be greater than 0. If you have an unstable equilibrium, we will have d2u by dx square, this is less than 0. If you have a neutral equilibrium, d2u by dx square, this should be equal to 0. So I will use this fact to find whether this equilibrium is stable or not at r is equal to 2a by e. 
So when R is equals to R naught is equals to 2 A Y B, we have to test what kind of equilibrium we have. So we have already calculated uh, that is del U over del R. So I have to quick uh, calculate once again differentiation. So let us check for the stable equilibrium. We have U is given by A by R square minus B by R. I have to test. So what is my criteria del to U by del R square for maxima? Sorry, for minima, this should be greater than zero, and that is the condition for a stable equilibrium. So this is the condition of minima as well as this is the condition of a stable equilibrium because a stable equilibrium is only possible at minima. So let us do differentiation. So du over dr is equals to, so this will be uh, you can do this one. So this will be minus 2a by r q and minus minus plus now this is simply r, not r, r square. So it is given by b by r. So we will have b by r square. Let us differentiate once again. Del to u by del r square. This will be minus 3. So minus 3 into 2 minus 6 into a by r to the power 4. We are getting. And this will be minus 2b. R Q. I have to check when R is equals to R naught is equals to 2 A Y B. So I have to plug R naught is equals to 2 A Y B. So let us plug here. So let us take R Q common. So we will have 1 by R Q minus sign I can also take common. Are you getting? So if I take minus sign common, so there is a plus. You see here. Uh, let me check. So this will be plus minus R Q. So this will be plus. So we will have 3 minus 3 into 2. So 6 plus. So let us take 1 by R Q common. So we will have 6 A by R minus 2 B. Simply have this value. Now R is equals to 2 A by if I plug. Let us plug inside this one. So we will have 1 by R Q. 6a r naught is 2a by b so up you will have b minus 2b this is equals to 1 by r q now 3 minus 2b so this will be simply b now b is positive number and r naught this is basically r naught if you want you can plug r naught so this is a positive number this is also a positive number so this is greater than 0 so this is a positive number are you getting so basically this is the condition of a stable equilibrium. So we have proved this is a, a stable equilibrium. Question also says plot u versus r graph. So if you see we can plot u versus r graph. So this is my x axis. On the x axis we are plotting r. So this is r distance from the field. And on the y axis I am plotting u. You see, u is given by this equation, u is equals to a by r square minus b by r. Are you getting? Let us say this is my uh, axis starts from here. So this is my 0. This is my r. I do it negative side also. So let us say rub this side. And this is negative side we have. So you see what we will have. You will have when r is very small. When r is very small, I can neglect 1 by r. This will be only a by r square. That term will be dominant. Like see, if a is 0 0.000005, r square will be point. Let us say 10 to the power minus 5. So r square will be 10 to the power 10. So the, the total term will be 10 to the power minus 10 divided in the denominator. So we will have 10 to the power plus 10 and this term will be only 10 to the power plus 5. So this term will dominate. So if you see when r is very small, 
u will be positive number and it will go to infinite so r is positive it will go up to infinite now when r is big number this term will go zero but this term will not zero so this term will have some value because infinite infinite square so this is a big number in the denominator so this term goes to zero but this term will go zero slowly so when r is very big number you will have zero but this will go zero from negative side so you see when r is big your graph will reach something like this so now i know in this side when r is a small this is a positive when r is big this is a negative so there must be a point when it changes the sign and graph comes something like this are you getting so this should be the graph of potential energy versus r and this will be the minimum potential energy at this point this is the point where you have minimum potential energy basically this is the point where you will have r not that r not that we have calculated potential energy is minimum and this point force will be zero so this point let us call a so a corresponds to force is equals to zero and this point also corresponds to du over dx that is equals to zero that the potential energy is minimum you see this is a minimum potential energy that's why this is a stable equilibrium so if you go from this side to this side you will have again this if you keep a ball here if you move this side this will come this side so this is a potential bell in the potential bell if you put a ball this if you, if you displace the ball this side it will come this side if you displace this side it will come again this side now we can also plot force as a function of r in the same graph at this point force will be zero you see what is the force del u over del x so when when u is minimum force will be zero so at this point force will be zero and you will have so you see this side so force is what minus del u over del x in this case minus del u over del r that is the force so you will have minus and minus minus plus so 2a by r q and you will have minus minus plus and then minus b by r square i think we are able to understand this one so this is the force are you getting so this is given by the force is given by this equation once again if for a smaller r this term will dominate and the force will be positive and at r not the force will be zero and when r is very big number this term will dominate and once again this will be zero but it will go zero from the negative side so i have to have something like this are you getting so this number is r not and r not is given by 2a by b we have already calculated so this is the graph for force so this graph shows for force this graph shows for u so this is for force this is for u so this is a complete mathematics there is nothing in this you have a function you can draw the graph yourself there is nothing new in this case now the second part of the question says the maximum magnitude of the attractive force so you have to find f maximum so let us discuss the maximum force so we have discussed force is given by you see in the last one we have differentiated and after differentiation we have written force is 2a by r q minus b by r square so this is the force now i need maximum force so when maximum force will be possible so for that i will have del f by del r that is du by dr should be zero so in this case if i differentiate again so i will have 3 into 2 6 so minus 6a by r q and this is minus minus plus 3 by and this is r 4 and this will be r q so this is equals to 0 if you have so i will have 6a by r 4 this is equals to 3b by r q so from here you will have 6a by 3b is equals to r are you getting so r is equals to 2a by b so you will have r is equals to 2a by b so this is a point where you will have the force is 
maximum. You can check del 2f by del x r square. This should be come out to be negative. You can check yourself. So this is a point R naught where force is maximum. So this is a point of maximum force. So this is the R naught where you will have maximum force. Uh, let me check. Yeah, basically there is a mistake here. You have, so this is R square. Differentiation of R square will be 2B. This will not be 3B. So this will be 2B again. Here you will have 2B. And then you will have 3B. So here you will have 2B. So finally you will have 3A by B. So this value will be 3A by B. So the force will be maximum when R naught is 3 by B. What will be the maximum force? So let us calculate maximum force. This will be equal to 2. So force is given by, let us take 2A by RQ minus B by R square. So this is the force expression. If I take 1 by R square common, so you will have 2A by R minus B by 1. Are you getting? Let us plug the value of R. R is 3A by B. So R naught, you will have 3A by B whole square. This is equals to 2A minus 3A by B minus B. So you will have 2 by 3B. So this is B a square by 9A square into 2B by 3 minus B. We are getting. So what this value comes out to be? So this will be a minus 2B, so minus BQ. So you will have minus 2BQ by 27A square. So this will be the force. You see magnitude of force will be 2BQ by 27A square. Negative sign shows <laughs> this force will be directed towards the center. You see from the graph also this is clear that the force will be negative. So where you are getting the, let us analyze. The maximum force will be attained at a point where R0 is given by 3A by B. So let us see this graph once again. I think all of you have copied this one. Let us copy this first and then we can analyze this situation. You see, the equilibrium point is 2A by B and maximum force is possible when the R0 is 3A by B. So you see, R0 is 3A by B, so this is 2A by B is here. 2A by B here is this point, so 3A by B is somewhere here, so this point. So the force that will acting, in this case, that will be negative. So negative force only says this force will be directed towards the inner center of the field, but the magnitude will be 2BQ by 27A square. So magnitude of force, that is fairly simple, that will be 2BQ by 27A square. Are you getting? So you can see the last one. So this is here. So the F maximum will be at 2BQ by 27A square. But the sign will be negative. This means this will be directed towards the center of the field. We will discuss the next question.